bougie, ratchet, yeah. Sassy, moody, hey, nasty, hey, yeah. yeah. Acting stupid, what was happening? What was happening? Bitch, I'm a savage, yeah. Classy. Hi guys, it's Mel. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be talking about five ways to get over a breakup or, or dealing with a breakup because I touched on this before but I've seen a lot of people in my DM telling me about breakups and what you can do and how they're going through breakups during quarantine which is crazy but let's get into it. So while we're talking to you guys about this breakup situation we will be trying Bolton Candy. I don't know why I couldn't get it together right now. Both hand candy. Um, and it comes with a sticker in the box. I want to show you the sticker. So it's coming with a three kid sticker, which is this that came in the box. I'm going to give it to my daughter, and this is how the candy looks. So. The candy just has the name on the wrapper. And this is candy is from Japan. Now this out outside pieces inside is meltable. Just melt in your mouth. I know this because I do eat rice candies and rice candy little biscuit things and all that. So let's see. And speaking of oranges, this is what we'll be eating while we're talking to you about breakups. It's really good for the occasion. So I'm put something good into your body. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> I guess you got revenge. Oh my bad. Even though nobody can't see that, I always pineapple juice on her leg. But um, so. Ways to get over a breakup, like it's crazy how people are going through breakups during quarantine. But the best part about that is the isolation period when a breakup, because in every breakup you have that isolation period, or you need time to yourself to recuperate, to heal, or to if you're angry, you know, to calm down. Now, during the isolation stage, it's important to focus on yourself, such as doing reading. You can read a couple of books um, on your pad or on your um, phone and if you don't have the books ebooks on your phone you can just read the manual books whatever and then um it's good to like take a moment to yourself five minutes to like listen to music or something like that to so just get back to your calm self also you could um journal journal is good for a breakup you need to write down how you feel what's going on what's your next things that you want to do even maybe do a list of manifestations that you want so yeah and then you could do self care you know maybe try out a different face mask you wanted to try out some type of exfoliating scrub something to treat yourself and i will be showing a, a hand um treatment for your skin next in my video it's gonna be so good Mm, mm, mm. Mm, so very juicy. Girl, put it down. Press something else. And um, it's important while you're doing all those steps to remember that love yourself first because I know sometimes when you go through a breakup, it sometimes it can be embarrassing and make you feel so insecure. Like most people deal with breakups so easy, like they just walk away and shake hands, like oh it's over. But I know some breakups can be very humiliating. And it can be very heartbreaking sometimes to the point where you feel embarrassed because you know you have a, a reputation to uphold with everybody in a relationship. Because we live in such a cruel world that when you break up with somebody that we know that the world takes it as a joke or some people might tell you they feel bad for you, they're laughing. So it's like with a breakup, it's so many things that you can do to protect yourself in more ways than one. Now, my five ways. One, keep it to yourself. No matter what's going on. I know you always have that friend as you lean on him. This will help you get over it better if you do not communicate about it. Do not tell friends. 
I, I tell people that if you have close friends and best friends, I can understand if you have that one friend that's been there for years. Okay, if you just have to vent to your friend, do that. But this is my five step um, process and this is what I will do. My first step is isolation. Don't talk to anyone about it and take care of yourself. Self healing first. My second step is putting good into your body such as fruits and vegetables, cucumber and lemon water, perfect for your skin. And this is a free floor. We know people have binge eating. We know people have different ways of carrying. There's all type of ways of how people carry it. Some people don't eat. Some people do eat. You feel me? You see my cute little Tyler. But yeah. So then your next step is while you're cleansing yourself with the fruit and stuff, try to get in a little bit of exercise. This is just to get your momentum back up when you're sad and you got down from the situation. Now, my third step is journaling. Journaling the situation step by step. Pros and cons do not just be, if you don't be one side in your, in your notes. The first step is admitting to yourself and taking responsibility for your own actions in the break up. So in the journal, you will write what you did wrong and what they did wrong. You come to the conclusion of who was right and who was wrong. And sometimes it's best in your journals to, to say, it doesn't matter. Now, this is if you have hopes of getting back together. Right. You have to say, I was wrong and that person was wrong. So what can we go from here? We both right. forgive each other and move on. But if you're going to that stage where you just want to let go, then that's when you would do the pros and cons, the way is out the list of who stays and what goes. Right. But, it, but like this is two different situations. That's if you're going to leave it alone. But if you're going to continue to go on with it, then you need to make a list of what have I did wrong. Responsibilities, you know, make make the situation feel lighter in your heart so that you can go far in the situation. So it won't just be a heavy situation that you can't get over. So... So yeah, my last two are clarity and closure, which is when you guys come together and form an agreement that either you guys are staying in this commitment or you guys are out of this commitment. And most of the time, most people don't get the closure stage, but if you don't, then there's steps to do, which is in my other video, five ways to get over a breakup, and that will tell you what you have to do to get through the closure stage. I already described that, so I won't go that deep into details. And my last step is really a 360 turn on focusing on yourself not that she wasn't before but this is the time this is crunch time this is the time for you to show that you are important and you are coming up out of this grave that normally what we did when we're sad or we're going through a breakup and sometimes you go through breakups and it's um on a, when I say clarity and closure, that's the kind of breakup that you go through and y'all be remain friends or you guys have um, good air. So it's like, it's not like, oh, it's over, it's over, let's break up and stay away. But um, yeah, I really love talking about this with you guys in this video and eating a little fruit. And I hope to see you guys in our next video. Thank you. Is it okay if I call you my proud of bae? I ain't no player, I just got a lot of bae. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, bae. I wanna start at the top and the bottom, babe Now you want to shoot with the red at the bottom, babe You know I like when you right at the top, babe She wants your name, name, and D yo yo I'm only doing cash, I don't need promo I pull up to the high rise, I'm in the fofo Inside Coco If I got a feeling, I keep it inside my heart And I keep a petticoat, cause I don't do facade